I imagine it felt good to have number four back out there. What'd you get out of him today? <laughs> Well, he doesn't skip a beat, and uh, yeah, it was great to have him back on out there. That ball was coming out a little bit quicker, the protection set a little bit quicker, the, the reads happened faster. Um, you know, our offense is obviously much more efficient with him, but you know, having him gone for a couple days was really good for those those younger guys to, to get those quality reps. Uh, I'm just glad that, that we have four back out here. Coach, we can talk defense for a second if you don't mind. Uh, telling us about your linebacking crew right now. Uh, a little bit of transition at the position. Wanted to see how it's going so far, second week of practice. Well, I, I think our guys are playing really fast right now. Uh, I've really been impressed from spring and, and to now uh, to how, how Carl and, and, and uh, Kyle Kyrie have really come on, uh, and I think that competition is pushing Jeremiah. He's looking better than he's looked. So I, I think we've got a really good situation at the inside linebacker position. Patrick's still a little dinged up from his surgery, so he's not full speed. But you know we've got four guys in there, and, and Jeff Camille, our, you know, our freshman, has been doing some things uh, at the outside position. You know, Nat Harrison's really starting to become a, a senior that we had hoped he'd become. Uh, he's got a lot of talent, and he's starting to put it together, so, so we're happy with what he's done in camp. And, and Donovan has been steady, so we're, we're good there. Got to develop a little bit more depth outside, you know, with those outside guys. You know, we've got Edgero, who at times is flashing, and Brandon at times is flashing, but we got to get some more consistency out of those guys. Donovan said he's at the same position as he was last year. Do you expect a, a second-year leap from him this year? Absolutely, for our whole defense, really, but uh, from him in particular. When guys move from one position to another like he did, and when you're playing a 4-3 defensive end versus what we ask our outside linebackers to do, it takes a while to, to fully understand what we're trying to do. Uh, I expect his, produ his production to go up dramatically. Uh, and we see him playing faster and with more power every day, and so it's exciting to see. You never would have taken those reps from Derek, but you can see the benefit for your younger guys. Do you have kind of the same thing going with LJ and the staples in his head that you're getting a look at guys you need to see? Absolutely. And, you know, a guy, Curtis Riley, is really taking advantage of him. You know, he's getting a chance to rep with the first team, and he, and he looks like he belongs. So, uh, you know, you hate for anybody to lose reps, but, you know, Curtis, Shannon, and, and, and Jamal, all those guys are, are getting extra reps now, and it's, it's, it's good to see those guys really start to develop. How's the offensive line coming I think we're making progress every day. You know, it's a little bit of, you know, three steps forward, one step back at times. Uh, but but we're, we're better. We're a lot better than what we were at this point. We're probably a lot better than we were in the season. So uh, they, they're getting a chance to go against what I think is going to be one of the better defensive lines in this league. So uh, if, if they keep pushing, just like our secondary, I mean, we've got, you know, it's going to be a group of receivers. You go against those guys every day, you're going to, you're going to get better or you're going to get out of there. So... Uh, our guys are getting better, and that's, that's encouraging. Talking about the defensive line, how about the running backs as opposed to facing that defensive line? Well, I'll tell you, our, our, our running backs, uh, I feel really solid about them. We've got three or four guys that I think could play depending on our league. And to have that kind of quality depth I think is huge because, you know, to, to keep guys fresh and to have guys that, as you get into the season, you know, don't have to carry the ball 35 times and to keep their bodies fresh, I think is going to be big for us. You, we've got physical backs. Do you feel that you have to choose like a starter or you can run by committee the rest of the, the whole season? And I, I, you know, right now I don't think you have to choose a guy and, and say he's the guy. Uh, you know, I feel very, very comfortable with any of those guys in there right now. Um, you, know, the, you know, I'll talk to Coach Schramm about, you know, the psyche of it, but I'm not worried about that. How are your freshmen coming along? And you mentioned Camille. Have any other ones uh, caught your eye so far? Uh, you know, certain guys are, are, are doing things. You know, Jamal Ellis, I think, is, is making strides. Yeah, he's a redshirt freshman. Uh, the new guy is probably the, the biggest, you know, guy that jumps out at me is Colin McGuire. I mean, he, he comes out here and he kicks like he expects to be the starting kicker. He's got a live leg. He's got a good demeanor. we got to get our operation better a couple times that he's missed. The snap's been off and the hold's not been down in place. But when, when the operation's working well, I mean, he's, he's got a great leg. Are you going to fit twice first week if you have a 45-plus uh, opportunity to stick him in there and let him go? Uh, I, you know, we'll see as we go through camp. You know, to, to make that determination, you know, I don't want to make it now, but right now I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate. Uh, you know, we like going for it on fourth down, so it kind of depends what the down and distance is. You know, it's is it fourth and a half yard or you know, less than five, or if it's fourth and 15, I feel pretty good about kicking.